All the songs just sounded so much better than I expected. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on the current portable speaker that I am using called W King. The wattage is about 50 watts. I'll make sure to take some videos or put some pictures on screen so you know what I'm talking about. I use it almost every day and I have almost all pros and very little cons with it. I really enjoy it. I'll be very interested to see what you guys like as far as wireless speakers, things like that. So let's jump into it. Um, it's supposed to have 24 hours playtime, but for me, I just kind of use it as a speaker in my room. Room. I keep it plugged in all the time, so I can't really comment too much on if it lasts for 24 hours, but it also is IPX6 waterproof, which is actually pretty high. I know there's like lower rankings than that, and I've had stuff that was like IPX3 or 4. I just know it was lower than 6, and the waterproofing is really, really good. So I had actually no idea that this was a waterproof speaker, and it just makes it that much more versatile. You could just bring it on that much more things. You could you might even be able to like accidentally drop it in the water and pull it out and save it you know and then on top of that i think a lot of speakers do this nowadays but you could double this as a power bank which is just so cool it's just another reason to bring it along with your trip do you want to add some extra music oh is your phone dying it just is so convenient i know it's on a lot of speakers now but it's it's pretty good i want to say i paid around 70 to 80 dollars before i did this review i looked about how much it was online and i think it was on a lightning deal for about 65 to 60 dollars so i would assume it's about the 70 to 75 dollar mark but to be honest, for how good the speaker is, I do think that that's a really fair price for it. So let's jump into the pros of this speaker. The pros is that it has really good, strong bass. Now, this is kind of like the main reason people are buying this. It has just noticeable thick bass. I remember the first time I got it, I was trying it out and I was like, oh, let me look through some of my old songs to play some of my old songs. And like all the songs just sounded so much better than I expected. And I was just like, man, I could just put all this on repeat and just listen to it because it just sounds so good, so bassy and thick. And that's kind of the main reason people buy this specific speaker is for how powerful the bass punch is for the price. Um, another thing I liked was that it's very easy pairing and they came with an aux cord so you could literally plug it right into your monitor. The only reason that I don't really like Bluetooth connecting is that there's a delay. So if you're watching like a YouTube video, there is a delay to the speaker because it has to send it wirelessly. So it is kind of nice to plug it straight in with that aux cord that is provided. So you kind of have the option of both, but it, it connects really easy. I actually had another speaker to where you couldn't really control it from your phone as much. You had to actually touch the speaker. This one goes up and down with my phone volume. It's just, I had no issues with the pairing. I like that. And then another pro is that this is a pretty affordable price in my opinion. I've tried a lot of 40 to $50 speakers that are like little cylinders, kind of like JBL ripoffs, and they're pretty good, but you're only going up 20, 30 more dollars, and this thing is way bigger. It's a pretty good size, you know, and it's, it's kind of nice because you don't want it to be too big if you're carrying it around, but it's definitely going to be bigger than almost anybody's speaker that they're carrying. I just really think that this is an affordable price for how much punch this thing packs. And then it also gets very, very, very loud. So, I mean, I don't know how far away you could hear this. I would venture to say like 150 feet, maybe 200 feet. I've heard like some review on Amazon where he puts it on his forklift and he has a bunch of noise going on and you could still hear it. I 100% could see that. It, this would be pretty interesting to be on the beach or to be somewhere where you're far away from electronics and hear this amount of sound coming. So it really does have next level sound, next level bass, which I really do appreciate. And then the last pro is that it comes with this carrying strap, which I really, really like. It makes it so, so easy to carry with you and it's kind of meant to be portable anyway, so it's just, it helps out with how heavy the speaker feels, and I do appreciate that. Okay, the cons. Now, I only have a few here. One of the cons is that it is pretty heavy. It's not the smallest thing in the world, but at the same time, I do think it's a pretty good compromise for how heavy it is compared to how loud it is. But at the same time, it is big, it's, it is bulky. You can't just like put it in like a, a pocket of a jacket. It probably won't fit. You are gonna have to carry it with one hand or over your shoulder, so it is pretty heavy it only plays music in one direction you've probably seen like the jbl ripoffs where it's like a 360 speaker and it has speakers all the way around so wherever you are you're going to be hearing it this one has to actually be pointed at you which it isn't the worst thing you know because of how again how loud this thing is and how good the bass is and what's not too bad and then you could also just make sure it's pointed at you and you don't have that issue but i did want to say that there are other speakers where you just put it and it shoots you know around so wherever you're at you're getting clear clear sound 
And then another con, and I don't want this to scare anybody away from purchasing it, but I would say the highs and the mids here are just average. Now, they're not bad, but they're not really that great either. Uh, this is mainly for the loud sound and the bass, but again, it doesn't sound like um, distorted or you know really cheap it just I was hoping that there'd be a little bit more detail on the highs and the mids but it's just average it's average right across the board which I actually don't mind for how loud it is and how good the bass is having just solid highs and mids that's a good trade-off for me so anyways guys I would rate the bass on this thing a 9 out of 10 I would rate the highs and the mid probably a 7.5 to an 8 De it definitely isn't bad enough to where like like if somebody were to hear that and then not purchase that because they heard that, I would feel a little bit sad because it is a really, really good product. But at the same time, if you're super, super picky with your highs, you kind of know what to expect buying something for like $70. You kind of have to buy the best if you want the best of all everything. You kind of have to spend more money if you want the best of everything. And then the overall rating, I would rate this an 8.5 to a 9. I have almost no issues with it. And because of how cheap this one is, I think there's like a 60 watt. I was like, man, why don't we just get the 60? You know, because why not? You know, bigger is always better. But anyways, guys, uh, this brand was a little bit iffy when I first bought it. I'm like, W King, I don't know if I really want to trust that. But they have actually earned my trust. And I feel very confident buying more things from them in the future. And I actually think their stuff is cheaper than it would be because people don't know this brand. So it's kind of like you're getting a benefit that people don't know the brand either. So anyways, guys, that's been my review of the W King 50 watt little portable boom box speaker thing. I'll definitely make sure to take some videos and some pictures on screen so you know exactly what it is really really like this speaker it's my go-to speaker i have no plans to upgrade anytime soon because it is just so so good so anyways guys let me know which personal speaker you use do you have like a home theater system do you use like a jbl i'll be very interested to see down below we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace